going to be a very juicy but very enriching um encounter we have five guys in the house five great minds different opinions one topic banning or reducing the influx of nigerian music in cameroon is it a solution is it a myth for the cameroonian entertainment to explode on the panel we're going to be discussing with these amazing guys that i've already told you about seat tight guys don't you go anywhere. We're going to be meeting them right after the break. All righty. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. We have the guys in the house. I just want to take the time to welcome all of you. Our question on today's uh, topic is banning, reducing the influx of Nigerian music, solution or myth for the explosion of the Cameroonian entertainment. Of course, we know that for almost two months now, the internet has been buzzing with this topic. So many different opinions. Today, we're going to be hearing from these amazing guys. I'm going to introduce um, the very first person, Kuo Elonge, Cameroonian writer, researcher, and co-host of Freaky Table by Decoder TV. He works as Bureau Head for Communications at the Elections Cameroon and also as the Coordinator Researcher for Better Breeds Cameroon. Currently, he is wrapping up his doctorate studies at the University of Boya. Can we make some noise for Kuo Ilonge? I know you can make noise, but let me see your comments in the comment section. Show your hands up to welcome Kuo Ilonge. Kuo Ilonge, can you look up to the camera and let's see your face? Oh my gosh, I think Koi Longa just disappeared right when I was about to introduce him. Guys, I'm going to ask you all to turn off any other device that you're watching from because it's interfering with the sound. Um, if you oh, just bring it down to the low minimum, okay? All righty, so let's take the next panelist on today's uh, program, of course, is uh, Mr. Bliss. Chichi Ladislav, who is the founder owner of Bliss International Holdings, a multimedia consulting firm which doubles as market representative for Istanbul Trading Africa Company in Cameroon. Let me see you guys make some noise for Chichi in the comment section. Show your hands up. Thank you so much for tuning in. All righty. So, next panelist in the house. Epule Jeffrey. He's a multi award winning Cameroonian actor who has earned the recognition in the industry as one of the most seasoned actors. He's been in the industry for over seven years and has worked with actors from across the globe. As of today, he has over 30 movies to his credit and a couple of awards under his belt. Let me hear you make some noise for Epule Jeffrey in the house, ladies and gentlemen. And of course, uh, Papa Atalaku is in the building, guys. APA in Global International. He's a Cameroonian comedian, a dancer, philanthropist, entertainer, music promoter, and lover. He's based in Germany. And he is the fiancé to one of Cameroon's biggest social media personalities, Newo Christie, the gorgeous Mama Atalaku herself. I hope that she's watching. So let's make some noise for Papa Atalaku. Where are all the Atalashians in the house? I hope that you all are ready to support Papa Atalaku today. And finally, finally, the CY International himself, a.k.a. O Pancho, who has been receiving all the bullets on social media from across the globe for daring to say that they should ban Nigerian music in Cameroon or put it to 80%, uh, 20% only consumption in Cameroon. So welcome, guys. You have the description of all of our panelists. These are seasoned guys in their individual domains. I'm going to give them the opportunity to introduce themselves right now and give us their take on this topic very briefly in 30 seconds each. Kuelonge, take it away. So I'm a longer writer and TV host. Um, uh, that's very that's very immodest, writer, TV host. Okay. Um, well, the topic banning banning. I'll, I'll go with regulating the um, influx of Nigerian music. Um, I think I think that is a timely discussion because um, it hints at the fact that our 
our our air space or at least our um, entertainment space um, has been in in the way I put it, that has been hijacked. Um, hmm. This is not new. This is not this is not new for yeah. for um, any country, especially the African countries. Um, even the Nigeria that we are talking about that we will be talking about today has experienced this type of domestication in their home market. So I, I think that it's a very timely um, um, discussion, and I think that um, when I see the panelists, that this this is a, is a wonderful opportunity for us to have uh, concrete solutions. Thank you for taking the time to come on board, Ko Elonge. We love your judgment. You are just amazing on Freaky Table. You tell it like it is. And we know today all cards are on the table. Let's hear from Mr. Chichi Ladislav, who actually made this comment. He had made this proposal in front of the Minister of Youth and Sports some years back, proposing that a, a, a decree be put out for 80% of more Cameroonian stuff to be on our media and only 20% of foreign um, entertainment. Let's hear from you, Chichi Ladislav. Yeah, hi, Gwen. Um, it's good to be on the same platform with great minds and with great influencers. Um, thanks for the opportunity to, to be part of this and um, put in some, you know, 20 cents into um, what is going on. Um, a little correction. Um, that statement was made to the former Minister of Sports and Physical Education, who is now the Minister of Arts and Culture, uh, Mr. Bidungpat. And so um, I made that statement because um, what we are facing in Cameroon, it's actually a world pandemic. Nigeria is infesting the world in terms of entertainment and music in particular. It's not only Cameroon that is crying foul, other countries, South Africa, you know, and other countries like Ghana, they are also crying foul, you know. But then how do we brace it and make the best out of the worst situation we find ourselves in it? I believe tonight we are going to settle the matter. Yes, so we are going to settle the matter. If you all watching right now are ready for us to settle this matter, let me see your hands up in the comment section. We have to participate. Let's make this program stand out. Let's actually make the solutions come out because we're not just going to talk. We have to show you documents. We're going to show you documents, the document that has actually been put out that is going to be proposed to MINAC for the 8020. And we want all of you to give us your comments and let us know what you think what you think where do you stand do you stand for the 80 percent? do you stand for a complete ban do you stand for only 20 percent? let's know what you all think let's hear from a pula jeffrey can you hear us jeffrey all right, um, I think he's having a little network issue there. Let's go to Papa, a.k.a. Atala Q. Where are all my Atalashians? Let's hear from APM Global. What is your take on this? Somebody like you who is an amazing social media influencer. You have such a great population behind you. Um, you are a lover of music. You're an entertainer yourself. What do you think about this topic? Well, um... I want to say um, great evening to all of us watching and um, to all those who are with us here today, the great minds who have come together for this um, discussion. It's a pleasure to be amongst you guys. Uh, it's the right time in like um, Mr. Kwa said, um, Kwa Elonga said, um, what is happening in Cameroon right now and talking about this topic, it's it couldn't be any time better. Like it's just matches. So I'm waiting. I'm just eager to get into the to jump into the topic and see what comes out of it. Because what I want to emphasize is banning Nigerian music or banning banning foreign music in Cameroon might not be a solution, but something should be done about it. That is my stand. Thank you so much for that. And we'll definitely be elaborating because there's so many questions on the table, guys. 
So many questions. I will be definitely getting to each of these questions. Let's hear from CY International, who has been taking all the bullets. CY International dead. He dead, I would say, to go online and say his mind because what he said online was his opinion. Of course, he has been batched for that. But he's also been celebrated by those who stand for that opinion. So CY International, what do you have to say? Um, thank you very much. Thank you very much. It's, uh, it's indeed a great pleasure to be with um, great minds like uh, Elongwe Ko and uh, Papa Talaku, Epule Jeffrey, uh, Chichi. In fact, um, first of all, I want to say to those who keep saying that CY is doing this thing because he wants to go viral, he want to be celebrity, please cancel that from your mind, all right? I'm doing this thing for love. I started it not today, since 2013. And I'm so happy people who are involved into this thing are also standing now. So what we are doing is not new. It is not new. Bigger celebrities, bigger entertainers in Ghana, in Kenya, in so many countries in Africa stood the same battle. And today they are enjoying their identity, their culture, because they stood for their culture. So nobody should think that what we are doing is against a crime, against humanity. It's a diplomatic problem. We are just standing to protect our identity, which is our culture. Thank you guys very much. And I pray we come up with a very good solution over this thing, which is nothing but 2080. Thank you. All righty. So we heard from uh, the last person on the panel. I don't know if Epule Jeffrey is ready to talk now. He's having a little um, connection problem. Hopefully he can join in uh, soon. Epule Jeffrey, is your connection a little bit better now? Just let us know. Yeah, I think my, my connection is way way better now. It's way Man, better. Man, you're great. looking good. Way, I way like better. those shades. Yeah. Huh? The way you come in, my brother, you're like, say, hey. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> well, there are no shades. There are my lenses, just like, oh, just like I need, uh, I need, my, I need my guy lenses. <laughs> <laughs> Those are these are these are my looking my reading glasses. So um, I don't want to miss anything on the knees, so I'm I'm wearing them. <laughs> well, um, it's always it's always good to to be on a panel like this. Um, it is it is a signal that we are coming to to a, a headway and a breakthrough once we have discussions and we begin to have debates on subjects which were a couple of years ago taboo, for us to bring in the debate on whether to listen or not to listen to, to music was uh, unbelievable a couple of years ago. Now we're bringing it, it's a topic of discussion. It is, it is a sign that uh, there are changes. Cameroonians are beginning to wake up. There is definitely a signal that Cameroon is getting ready for the world. To me, it's a positive sign. And we should all take just the positives, just the positives and walk with them, grow with them. And we're bound to do great things. All righty. Thank you so much. So we're just going to jump right into it. But before that, I want to take, I want us to take a little. So if you see a DJ says he plays more of Nigerian music and less of Cameroonian music, it is because. Cameroonian music is not at the level where it is bankable. In other words, Cameroon is first of, is first of all limited in, in terms of uh, its population as compared to Nigeria. Cameroon is a state in Nigeria, for instance. If you want to read Cameroon, is a state in Nigeria. And if you want to melt it down to the English speaking artists, the Awakati in Nigeria. I don't know if you get my point. And so, commercially speaking, that's why even DJs in Cameroon found themselves in the trap of playing foreign music because the foreign music is what is vulgar out there. It's what is being promoted to the most, especially Nigerian music. Okay. Nigerian music is a virus. It is contaminating the whole world. Nigerian artists are selling themselves at a very superlative level. They are being bought because, first of all, when you see the video, that's a sell. It sells out the O2 Arena in London. 
80 percent is Nigerians, and the rest have been influenced by that number. Think about the Cameroonian population. You know, think about how much Cameroonians we have we have out there that can consume our product. You know, so if we don't have that that uh, quantity in terms of consumption. It's difficult to have influence because the influence comes with the number of people who follow you, the number of people who can who can buy your product. You know, so if Nigeria is a DJ and he plays Nigerian music, it's because it is bankable for him. His consumers love that. And so okay. in Cameroon, in Cameroon. We are not consuming at that level. And when I talk consuming, it doesn't mean just listening. It goes deeper than listening. How many of us buy albums? How many artists release their albums? How many of us buy? You know, I don't, I don't, I don't want to take a lot of time, you know, because I believe we're going to, be, we're going to go around, around, around. I believe as for what the DJ wrote, it is because his consumers, that is what his consumers want. So he's going to feed the consumers no, what they want. If you get, if you get into a club, the DJ is not playing the kind of music you want, you want. Okay, thank you so much, Chichi. Some of us have walked out of clubs because we didn't like the kind of music they were playing. Yes. If the fact that it's not good music, or it's not good music. We've worked out. Can and everybody so mute themselves the when they're not talking? Because we have a lot of background noise. I'm so sorry to cut you, Chi Chi. Please, if you're not talking, can you mute yourself? We have a lot of background noise and it's interfering with everything. Thank you guys so much. Thank you, Chi Chi, for that comment. Um, let's take APA Aim Global. What is your assessment of that? You are based in Germany, and I believe that um, as a lover of entertainment. You have had, um, you know, situations where uh, you went somewhere and you felt like maybe there was not enough Cameroonian music. Do you agree with what this DJ says? Because this was a Nigerian DJ. And I remember when this particular statement was put up on Twitter, it was, it was a case study. Everybody was talking about it. What do you have to say about that? Very briefly, I don't want us to dwell on that because we have a lot of questions to talk about. Yeah, um, just like I told one of the Cameroonian DJs I speak with from time to time, I told him, um, I, we talked and I told him, DJs, I believe DJs do play what is good in their ears to entice their customers in the clubs when they come in. Yeah. So they play good music. Now what is happening is, the, the, the more... The, how often you play a particular song can get to those people, no matter how good or bad that song is. That as far as you is. play it repeatedly, they will, they will like it. Yes. They people start liking it. In their heads, even after True. the clubbing and everything. So this point. statement by this DJ saying that they support just their own, it's a way of, it's, it's, that is the same thing we are crying about right now, like, we want our DJs should, to stand for us, right? Yeah, we should support our own in terms of, like the DJ say, we play this amount, this number percentage of music in our clubs, such that people get used to the Cameroonian music. Support your own. That is it. So okay. I think I'm for me, for me, the DJ is right in what he says. Okay, thank you so much. Let's hear from Kuo Elonge. Yes, you want a macheta. Go ahead. What do you think about that? Because I know you, you like to analyze things to a deeper level. Yes, um, uh, thank you. I, I think, first of all, that um, it, it suggests that there is a certain level of cultural consciousness with um, the Nigerian um, DJs and in the Nigerian entertainment um, field. But you see, the reason why you, you can have predominantly Nigerian music played by Nigerian DJs and their media is also because of the churn rate of the artist. I know that this is, when I say churn rate, I'm talking about the amount of music that is released, say, in a month. Um, it is enough to fuel a DJ's playlist. And so 
um, as much as we want to talk about how much um, we should play our music, we should have a corresponding um, churn rate in terms of the amount of music that our artists and producers can put out, without which we cannot have the luxury of even talking about uh, um, policy and percentages. Mm -hmm. um, I think that, that's, that's the first issue, that because of Nigeria's population, um, they have the luxury of um, producing more music. Their artists are much more prolific. It, it, the, the data is very clear. You will take our top artists here and compare to um, even a mediocre Nigerian artist there, and you, you see the amount of production um, in terms of sheer number that, that comes out, and you can understand why um, their, their music is so prevalent. Um, I would also want to say that um, we do not play Nigerian music here to support Nigeria, um, as opposed to we are saying Nigeria to support, to support us, but we do not play Nigerian music here to support Nigeria. Um, we play it because of something that I'm sure, Gwen, you are aware of this, um, something called uses and gratifications. That audience activity is a linchpin as yeah. to um, what would influence a media person like a DJ to prioritize the music. So the other day I was in I was in Douala and we you know this club and the they played uh they played like Nigerian music back to back. And wow. I, I got I got so pissed I went to the DJ, bribed him to play Nigerian music. You bribed uh, him. Bribe music. him. Quite yes, longer you bribed Nigerian the music. <laughs> <laughs> to play Nigerian what? music. And Belly singer, come and hear yeah. this one. And 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 the DJ played he started playing um, fish, then he went to Daphne, and everybody was seated down. And so suddenly I was just he went back to Nigeria. Yes, and he, he just switched back to Nigeria. Wow. It says a lot about our own sound, too. It points wow. to, the, to the fact that the lack of groove in our music. I do agree mm. that programming is, is an issue. But it also means that we have been so programmed by the Nigerian sound that our own taste in music has, has turned completely Niger. Mm -hmm. and, and so the DJs and all of this have a Herculean job to do, but it only starts with, with artists producing music which is interesting, um, it, uh, and which, which, is, which has enough growth. Let me leave it at that for now. <laughs> Yep, yep, yep. And I will say I'm just joining to the point that um, a lot of people have said that uh, Cameroonians suffer from, um, I think Delhi Singer even did that the other day. She talked about something on her Facebook page, identity crisis. It's almost as if we don't know where we are. When you watch our Cameroonian movies, you hear slangs from other countries. I don't know if it is to say that those slangs are what is going to make them cool or what. There's an identity crisis problem. And I really want to say kudos to Delhi Singer for, 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 you know, talking about that because it is an issue. So do you guys think that we are a little bit lost? Is Cameroon lost in terms of who they are and what they should be promoting um, in their entertainment in general? Epule Jeffrey, what do you have to say? You've acted with so many. Um, okay, Papa Talaku is already on the screen, so maybe you just take it, and yeah. then we can hear from Epule Jeffrey. We, talking about talking about a daily of uh, our culture in, in terms of music, like I'll give for example, there are <laughs> types of songs that when we listen we to them, we already songs. know, we already think of a particular them. country. Like yes, growing up, you hear of Kupe de Kale, you just think of Africa's. You hear mm -hmm. of uh, Zimbabwe, you think of um, Congo. Congo. So yes. my problem now is, which music will make, which, which what is that sound that makes it Cameroon? Yes. That is what we need to find out. And the mm -hmm. other day when when Phil Bills was uh, at uh, Freaky Freaky with uh, Elonga, we call they Elonga and about, the, yeah. yeah, they talked about uh, the Bikusi and the Makosa. Like the because or something, right? That is trying to bring out the Cameroonian identity of music mm -hmm. that someone will hear. And he gave an, a, examples of uh, somebody like uh, the recent one of uh, the recent song of Kosi. Kosi, yeah. When you Kale listen song. to it, 
you hear Bikuti, you hear other parts of Cameroonian sound that and that is when you look at all the songs that attract um that makes waves in Cameroon is either the melody or the, the, the message and the melody. Now can believe that Cameroon music has a lot of uh, messages in them and the melo less of melody. That's why in Nigeria, Nigerian music dominates because they are full of melodies. In Nigerian music, just a sound, just a beat in itself, just a beat itself. You start dancing. They don't even say much. You start dancing, inculcating words into the beat and making you to dance. The beat makes you to dance. And that's when you start enjoying. It's like they say, music is, um, is that thing that hits you. You feel no pain. So it's either you receive the message or you take the melody and jubilate with it. So yeah. that is that is basically just it. You know, identification is very, very necessary within a um, music uh, industry because you need to you need to identify you need to make it sound Cameroon, just like uh Chichi said from the beginning. The fact that this guy was singing about uh, Kumba doesn't really make it Cameroon. He didn't feel that this was a Cameroonian song because that is not a Cameroonian culture. That's as a producer, you understand? That's how mm -hmm. he felt it. The fact that it's a Cameroonian who sang it, called a renowned town in, in Cameroon, doesn't make it Cameroonian. There is something that when somebody hears, somebody needs to identify it to Cameroon. So that I think we really have a um, problem with uh, identifying mm -hmm. our kind of music. In, yeah, you've made you've made some out. very very good points there, um, Epier. You've made some really solid points there, and I totally totally agree with you on that. Um, we need to find our feet because if you're fighting for something, you need to let people see what you're fighting for. You need to be showing them who you are, what you represent, because a lot of times when, when I've, ta I've talked to a couple of my Nigerian friends, and this is what they tell us, that when I listen to some of your music, for example, when I go to Cameroonian parties, there is nothing that tells me that this is a Cameroonian music. I just think that, oh, maybe it's a young, upcoming Nigerian artist, for example. Do you understand? Mm. Why do they say that? It's because maybe there's so many similarities. There's so much copy and paste, you know, and I don't know why people do that. Let's hear from Epule Jeffrey. Epule Jeffrey, for long, you've been tagged the Jim Ike of Cameroon. You've had that actual, you know, living that life of, of people identifying you to somebody um, from another industry, even though you are Epule Jeffrey and you're an amazing actor doing, doing your job. Um, wonderfully. What do you have to say about that as an actor who has had this experience, um, you know, experiencing actors, other actors like you using slams oh, wow. from foreign countries and all that? What, what do you have to say about this? So thank you. Thank you finally for uh, letting me have a say on about, no, basically share my opinion on this. You, yes, uh, you you would have to agree with me that um, it all it all it all boils down essentially to what um Koe Longe, Chichi Ladislav and Mr. Ek have been saying. We have an issue of quality. We have an issue of how our entertainment competes with other entertainment industries. Because Cameroonian entertainment industry is a factory that produces goods but hasn't placed, hasn't created, hasn't formatted these goods to get from point A to point B. So everybody is at the creation point. We are at the point A where there's a lot of creation, there's a lot of music, there are a lot of film actors, there are a lot of good films. There are lots of creative people that all of us are just creating. But we haven't found the way forward to put these things in the market. Hmm. So we cannot compete. The difference with other entertainment industries, and the case in point, Nigeria, is that they have formatted...
and fans culture their films it is easy for them because they have found that network there is structure there is legislature there are institutions that readily take a product from point a to point b so it is easy for them to ascertain quality if you do not ascertain quality your product does not go anywhere no matter how many cameroonian songs you produce a day if they are not qualitative and they cannot compete with the technos, with the Don Jazzes, with whoever, yeah. the music ends there because it still yeah. remains at the creation stage. My point yeah. being, my point being, all of our yeah. A-list artists, artists so-called, from the Salatiels to possibly, the only person I see making a little bit of headway is Stanley Eno. And because he has understood how to take his music from point A to point B, there is a whole platform he has created. There is a whole network. Stanley Eno would put out a song. This day, yes. networking. All those things are a project. They are strategies. We have yeah. record labels, but what do these record labels do? We have film production houses, but what do they do? Do they brand? Hmm. Everybody is at a startup point. We are all startups because we just flood the market and there is no ascertaining of the kind of quality we have. So you have very good artists. But Master KG probably in South Africa has been ascertained by a particular network that has verified the process all through. So his song is qualitative. There is a genre somewhere. All our artists just put up songs. We just churn out this music, churn out this music, churn out this music. Where does it end? What is the final destination? If a song is produced in a corner today, is it just going to play somewhere in a um, end? Where do our music go to? Is it for Spotify? Is mm. it for Audio Mac? Is it for what? For what? For mm -hmm. Okay, so now you're bringing up the point of distribution. Okay, so because brand this artist to have a career path. Salatiel, Salatiel, Salatiel is an excellent musician, but is he an excellent marketer? Is he the one to promote himself? I'll give you a case of possibly Rihanna. I was talking with my nephew yesterday, and he said this lady was given an image of a good girl gone bad. And every time you see Rihanna turn out a song, it's about a broken romance, a broken dream, discarding some boyfriend and all that. There is a brand attached to that name. Beyonce yep, might she be managed to build a story. Good. But she has a, a team that works. She does, she does the music. Her job is to do the music. Who carries her music from point A to point B? Does Cameroon have the platform, the network, for us to have this song played today? The resources. Said, make a video Don't forget about the resources because that's part of it. Wow. Wow. Thank you. Man, I, I just love every single point things. that you make. We have passionate, we have, we have passionate people in our music. We have passionate people in our industry, very passionate people, but you know, we don't have yes. strategic people. Until we begin to strategize about how we're going to get our music out there, that is when we're going to talk about an industry. Right now, we have a factory. We have a very big factory, a very big factory with skilled laborers, but we do not have the strategy to put our things out there. Banning Nigerian music, is this the solution? We need strong mm -hmm. institutions. We need strong people. There is a big blogosphere out there. We need bloggers. The messaging must change. The messaging about Cameroon must change. Um, Daphne must be able to sing a song this night, and it should be heard in a club in America when it premieres three minutes later. Eto should be able to dive, dance to that music and tweet about To retweet it. the song. Those yes, are the connections. Yes. Those are the things... We need strong people. We need strong labels. When we talk about um, promoting our own and standing by our own, it is not just the job of saying it or for us standing here and saying all those things. It's about strategy. Okay. It comes yeah. in and there's no quality control. There's no jam because everybody plays music. But if we had the quality yeah. control, such as Nigeria has, yeah. before techno comes out, before Kiss Daniel comes out, there are thousands of them. There are thousands of very mediocre artists in Nigeria. But because they have a network that really works, what happens is just the few that manage to do this very good music stand out. And we see them as stars. Nigeria has dozens and thousands 
of mediocre artists. But those who do the comedy need to stand out. We need to find yes. a way to get our A-list artists, our good musicians, good to have that platform. I want you to mention the movie industry oh. which you actually represent, Jeffrey Apule, because when we're talking about our entertainment, we don't want to focus on your music because the entire Cameroon entertainment yeah. industry okay. is crippled. There's trouble, problem day, problem day, there's trouble. And we need to be able to figure out how to send out the right message, how to make people perceive the Cameroonian entertainment in a more palatable way. We have managed to copy and paste so much that people are confused as to who we are exactly, as to what culture we actually represent. And I, I did ask that question to Pile Jeffrey. He touched on a lot of things, but he didn't mention that. In our movies, I don't know if, if all of you have maybe had the chance of watching some movies where you hear some slangs like, hey, well, hey, me, all those kind of things that we don't say those things naturally in our communities, like well, even in our villages, like we don't have that culture. I don't know what that means, actually. So what I'm saying is not talking about any particular person or any particular country, um, just saying that the fact that we don't have that identity is, is, is maybe causing an issue. It's what? causing a confusion and we need to figure out the route. Yes, yeah, CY, you wanted to say something. CY, go ahead. Um, Gwen, you have skipped. First of all, you skipped from first point that we were into. I did not say anything. But now let me talk. <laughs> you Number have time one, to talk, we see why we this point. <laughs> yes. Number one, we were in this point of responding to that DJ. The DJ who said, we don't... It, 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 I don't know if I'm the only one who read that thing. The DJ said it very clear. We don't play Cameroon music because it is not our culture. Yes. I don't know how you people would try to analyze, but it is very simple because... Cameroon is not their country. It's very simple to understand that thing. Meanwhile, my campaign was saying, we will not play your own music too because it is not our culture. Simple. Hmm. So see what are two. you saying now? I'm coming. Please, okay. I'm coming. Let me really talk. Let me talk Go something. Ahead. Because a lot of Go things ahead. here, you guys are getting it twisted. Listen. Okay. This, uh, Chichi said um, that Kumba music uh, is uh, uh, Lingala and uh, all these things. Listen, you people should not forget that. That very beat in that music is the same beat that we practice in Cameroon. You will talk, you will think of Loka Lokito. If you know who is Loka Lokito, those are one of the biggest artists that we have got in Cameroon. That is the same brand of guitar they were playing. You have people like Ladi Kashila in Douala. They play guitar like that. You have even Charles Topé who have been playing guitar. So those guitar, that one you call Lingala, is the same genre of Cameroon. So we don't have problem with that. Now, third point, you are talking about our uh, culture, like uh, language. You know, playing in English, playing in French. Listen to me, let me tell you something. I don't think we have problem with that. Because since from the beginning of music, we have people like Charles Topé. Who have been playing? Who, who have been playing music in French? We have people like uh, and Jumeloko. We have even Amumba. We have Bebe Manga. Hmm. We have been playing in French, and there have never been any problem. So me, I don't always. Cameroon go. is now, a bilingual example, country I will tell by you identity. About mm -hmm. Yes, I will tell you about Daphne. If you look at Daphne's music, if Daphne is having ten music, nine has been in in English. But the time she played Je suis Calais, which was combined with French. That is when her breakthrough come. And it is out of Jesuit Calais that can put food on Daphne's table today. You understand? So to me, we don't have problems with language. Now, Gwen, I will tell every panel here that we don't have any problem with quality of music. We don't okay. have any problem of distribution. Now, let me explain you people something. Listen, there is no amount of distribution that you will make. I'm telling you this out of experience. I have traveled in countries. I have seen things. If I've never traveled before, I'm not boasting. At least I've made about 48 countries. And any country that I go to, I see the way their system is going. Listen, there is no amount of marketing that we will do in Cameroon now that will bring back the culture. You know what is happening right now? Listen, there is no way you can allow incoming 
while you are trying to settle the present. First of all, you block the incoming. And that is the same strategy that even Nigeria itself. Nigeria went ahead up to the extent that they banned Okrika. If you go to Nigeria today, you see Nigerian men. Most of them, they wear sandals. They wear they the adore bubu. their traditional dress. Because yeah, why? They wear the they traditional ban attire. Okrika. And yes. today it has become their culture that they cannot live with that. So I don't see how so difficult. Epule, let me tell you something. There is no amount. See, we have quality music. We have quality sound. We have everything, movie, everything loaded. What is our problem now is because we have allowed foreign stops to dominate our own. And the okay. only way we can do to stop that is to block that incoming of the foreign stuff. Gradually, our people will get used to what we have right now. Okay. Please, wow. Without taking more of it. Without can taking I, more can of I say time. something, please? Let's yes, go ahead. Because CY has touched on a couple of points, which I think that we can all chip in on. Guys. What do you have to say, APA? Go, go ahead. Please, let me just let me just let me just conclude. Let me just yes. cut. Then you yes, come. Yes, Go Listen ahead. Listen to me. When you talk like a longer set, like a longer set, our artists they need to be releasing. They need to be releasing. You, how do you expect these guys to release when when they have been spending money to release the other ones? You people have not made them get the money back. How do they release? Okay. How do they release more? Now. When you talk about these guys, they are playing the Jean of Nigeria, Jean. When you listen to that music, you think it's Nigeria. These artists are hungry. They are hungry. They want to eat. So they are following where the waves is going. Hmm. Because you and me have accepted Nigerian music to dominate our spirit. That is why when you see, like uh, uh, Longer said, he went to the club. And when they played Daphne, they played he Fish, had to go everybody was sitting hey. down. Because Nigerian music have taken their spirit. Nigerian music have taken away their spirit. <laughs> So what we need to do now is just one simple strategy. Go to um, uh, um, uh, um, um, Ghana, Nigeria, I mean, uh, Ghana, Kenya. Um, uh, uh, so many countries that I've been to is the same thing. My brother, before you, before you take, before you own your identity, you have to do away with one identity. There is no way you can be liking your identity with another identity in you. So we need to block the foreign culture the and foreign practice influx. our own and gradually and gradually our people will become used to our own and they will no more have taste for foreign culture. That mm. is the simple solution that I think should be done. I think that that was something that um, um, one of um, Nigerian's presidents, Abacha, had in, imposed. Um, they had blocked the influx of a lot of foreign stuff even as far as clothes. And that forced the Nigerians to love uh, their own and enjoy their own. It's just as if, if you here? cook rice and granola soup in your house every day, but you like the smell of chicken on the other side, as long as there's no way for you to go get that chicken, you learn to enjoy your rice and granola soup. I guess that's what um, um, CY is saying. Can I, can words. I, can yes, I, can go, I ahead, say go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead, if here. All right. It's, it's me. Um, no. no. Let you know, go. Let the, the issue. go ahead. Yeah. All right. As per what Elonga said, um, with people sitting down when they begin Cameroonian music, let me tell you something. It's not when they begin Cameroonian music, when they're playing Cameroon urban music. You bear with me. If the club is boring, when they start Petit Pei, Oman is start up. Uh -huh. They've been playing Petit Pei for one hour, and Oman knows she don't know. And when they old enter school old music. school, That's when true. they enter old time Makosa, That's true. all man will buy to the thing. So the issue, see why, is um, don't get emotional. Don't get too emotional <laughs> and be logical. <laughs> okay, Paul, don't start. Fire, don't be start. Be logical. Be logical. First of all, you bear with me. Of late, they're trying to do free trade in Africa, for instance, and which is... Already in the Semak zone, there is a law which if you 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 import goods in one Semak country, you pay the custom. If you are if you are moving that goods to another country in the Semak zone, you're not going to pay customs again. So if you if you it's a it's a law that is there, you understand. So we shouldn't we shouldn't go to the way Abacha used to do things. I right. want to apply it to what happens now. Right. The way music was played. I was done in the old. It's not the way it's 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 happening now. The platforms in which Chichi, you put this music. Is culture. I'm Chichi, telling you, brother. This is culture, not goods. 
Well, Baba, <laughs> my land now. I'm sorry, don't be emotional. Don't be okay. emotional, Suwai. This is culture. I'm coming. I'm going to learn. It's okay. culture or it's culture or it's not culture. That's that's not a okay. problem. It's about how you sell a product. Whether it's cultural or it is not cultural. It's how you sell a product. And how do you sell a product? How do you sell Cameroonian music? The Cameroonian music could be Makosa, as well as it could be the new vibe that is Mbole, or it could be, I don't know, Bikutsi, or it could be a Melange, or it could be Nja. The problem we have in Cameroon is not that we don't do music. It's that we don't do trendy music and we don't do vibe music. In Nigeria, their, mu their music is it's a vibe. It's trendy. In Cameroon, two days ago, you could listen to this, um, this girl, what she calls Zitra, going off on Blast Bile that she plagiarized her song. Hmm. Of which, when you listen to the songs, it is a vibe. And so if there is this vibe, and you reproduce that vibe, an artist will say you have stolen his song. That is why, a longer you went to the club, they couldn't play Cameroonian music, very urban music for long. Why? Because there is no consistency in the rhythm. It is not the same Kaya Salate song, you know, they're the same Le Mr. Lue own, you know, they're the Daphne own, you know, they're the Blanche own, he's the own commander, so other one. You want to mind monster movie own. We I don't have variety, a vibe. Though. That's variety. It's variety, but when you true. Listen to but other Nigerian let me, let me, songs, let me they don't have the let me, same. Let me, let me as help well. you. Let me, let me, let me learn. The songs we listen in the club. The Nigerian music we listen in the club is vibe music. You understand? It's a trend. You will not see um, Davido go and say he, it, is, it, is, it is him who started this kind of music. And so Burner Boys will not do it. They're all doing the Afrobeat. They're all doing the Afrobeat, which is a vibe in a season. You understand? Hmm. So for Cameroonian music to stand out, they need to do Well, yes, South African beat. You don't know no. Jonathan, that it be all song for South Africa, they around that one now. But it doesn't change the fact that other artists like Neto C, they are doing rap, which are who are also South Africans and the music. Pato Rankings is doing his kind of dance hall, which is a little Afro, which is different. You, you understand? And also, we nobody really play so amount of music. Where it never be regularized because let's not get let's not get our the topic of discussion twisted. No, we want we want to get we want to get we want to get to a level where the consumption rate of Cameroonian product supersedes that of foreign product. Yes, and so the law of two thousand and three, as stated, adopted by the Parliament, April two thousand and three, says. Mm. Cameroon media should play 60% Cameroon product and 40% foreign. But is that and what so, happens? Is that what happens? Excuse me. Though? Let me let me learn. Let me let me, let me learn. Go ahead. I stood up in front of the minister and I could challenge the minister to do a survey to what to, to find out if that happens. But I'll promise you of late it has changed. Cameroon media has been playing a lot of Cameroon. Okay. Uh, a lot of Cameroonian stuff, you know. And so, what I'm saying, what I'm saying is, for us to get there, I'm giving you the words of the minister. It doesn't take him to wake up and give a decision. But I challenged him because on the panel, we were talking about the new laws on entertainment. You know, which that's a different topic, a whole ball game. Yeah, that's a whole... It is a law that existed, which we never knew, and he brought up. It was not implemented anyway. Yeah. Yes, it was not implemented. So it was brought us, it was brought up, revised, and adopted at the at the parliament and the, and enacted by the president. So I told him, in the same way you brought up this old law that got enacted by the head of state, you could go and revise this one and say the people said they want to consume Cameroonian because. The preaching from the head of state to the ministers is that we should consume Cameroonian. No, but how do we consume Cameroonian? In the offices and it's not implemented on the street and sanctions Thank are you. not followed and it's not, there's no follow up at the end of the day. Let me give you the process, change. please, please. Let me tell you what the minister told me. The minister told me for this law to be implemented, it will have to go to the Ministry of Foreign Affairs, it will have to go to the Ministry of Communication, it has to go to the Ministry of Arts and Culture. It has to go to the Ministry of External Relations before it goes to the Parliament and then goes to the President. Child. And then I said, and then I said, no, that's not a problem. 
every law in Cameroon must not pass through, can be changed with a decree. We're in Cameroon. And a law, a law can be changed with a decree. That comes to, uh, uh, to amend the law. They can, a law can be amended with a decree. Do you understand? And so that is the fight. That is when we started fighting about this 8020 before All video right. went on. All right, let's hear from let's me, hear from let me let me let me let me let me learn something, please. Okay. Artists in Cam there are artists in Cameroonian in Cameroon that do songs that are in their vibe. If you take I'll take case study, Magasco. Mm -hmm. If you listen to Magasco songs and all his trends, all the base of Magasco songs are jam. But then there is no other person that does that kind of song. And so we cannot have a trend of this kind of song if it's not only him. The vibe of Makosa, when Petit Pei, Sami Diko, Jackie King, all of them were removing the same kind of Makosa. That time it was a vibe. And we still dance to that when they play, they play to it. Makosa so is the a base music. Yes. The, the, and it's, a, it's an identity for sour people. So whenever they play it's, Makosa, it's, it's, they stick to their rhythm. We have some people who have managed to no, stick to that. No, it's Please, region. it's Cameroonian. Don't take it. Don't don't take it uh, regional or or. It is or, Cameroonian, but it is particularly way. particular to the littoral region. It's their and traditional the rhythm. It's for, it's for the people in Yaoundé, right? It is you their traditional rhythm, no doubt. But it is Cameroonian in general. What right? I'm saying is, okay, if we can choose, if we get a vibe, and we produce, we say Cameroonian artists decide. Our A list, like the B list, C, D, E, O, F list artists, choose to produce this kind of music, especially when you see that it works. If Kali song by, 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 by Kosi works, let's get to the vibe. Let's okay, work. Let's, 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 hear let's, from, let's hear from APM Global and Kuo Longe. Guys, we'll get for cut and short. If we talk plenty, so we'll not talk all things. We have so many questions on the table, guys. There are a lot of questions that you all have been sending their comments in the comment section that we have to take at some point. Um, there's a lot to talk about on this topic. Um, let's be objective. Let's be shooting towards solutions coming. Uh, what did you have to say? And then Kuo and then um, Epule and CY, of course. Let's just try to keep it short so that we can go through the questions that we have. Yeah, um, I think... We have a problem from the part, the generation in particular. Why? Because personally, growing up, in terms of music, at that time, as kids, we're hearing people like R. Kelly. Like, it wasn't like Nigerian music dominating in Cameroon at that time. Mm -hmm. It was like r and like R. Kelly. We knew every lyrics of R. Kelly, Craig David, we'll be singing Seven Days, all those songs. Yeah. It came a point where Things started changing and Nigeria came in. What I'm saying is, when the industry is moving to another level, that is how, this is what, this is what happens. This kind of talks. This is what happens. Now, when, when I was growing up, you realize that there is a particular program. You go watch music every four o'clock, clip box in Cameroon. Yes. In you will not, if you loved it, you will not pass it because you will see Jackie King, you will see some, ca any Cameroonian music that is trending at that time will be played during that, during, at, at that 30, that 30 minutes of um, clip box. You have daily, which was on every Saturday and everything. Then, particularly from Kumba, we had almost, the kids were watching just one particular channel, Africa Magic. What do they show there? It's Takaba from part one to seven. Uh, this <laughs> one from part one, only Nigerian something. So yeah. it is already in you. You grow up with it. It has influenced you. That's why when you say, like, you made a statement when you said uh, a player has been called the, 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 the Jim Ike of Cameroon. Yeah. It is because people, we in this generation grew up watching these guys acting from their university days, acting from university uh, campus movies and all those things. They are already in us. So we are used to them such a way that when you see a Cameroonian act, you try to compare, it. hey, you put the act now, that's why even somebody in music, when 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 Kosi came, 
you are, you are trying to identify him with somebody that you know that is already renowned. You're not thinking about that Kosi is trying his best to be his own. You're not thinking about that um, Epule is trying his best to be the best actor in Cameroon. You're not seeing at that point. You're seeing with somebody you already know that has already excelled. Now, how do you come around this thing? What I'll go back to old Pancho, like what he said, that there should be a limitation of the incoming. Yes. Such that the consumption of the, the, the home product will be much more. A police said we are still at the factory uh, stage. That's true. We have a lot of acts. We have a lot of good work. But now, as he also said, distribution. How do we distribute it worldwide? And right now, are we actually talking about the home support itself or how to market it outside? Are we talking about Cameroon supporting Cameroon music first, consuming Cameroon music first, or how Cameroon sells its art outside? We All of to, that together. Like, I think that you know, it has I think to go we have hand to in hand. That just like someone said, we should go out of the topic. Yeah, it we has to go to hand in hand. Now, if we, ident we have already identified that there is a problem what our panel now is or what we are here to discuss is more of it should be more of how to ameliorate this problem how to come about yes. how to go around it how to better it how to create solutions to overcome this stage the main people involved we are all talking look, look at this is CY, a comedian actor and everything um she producer call longer you me i'm like the real people, not like they, I'm not saying like they are the only people, but the main people involved in all of this, the musicians, what are they doing about it? All the artists, what are the Cameroonian artists doing about it? The other day, I think it's Stan you know, who said like we should support, we should consume Cameroon music and so on yeah, and so forth. He actually and made a statement. There is um, no what's the follow event. up of other artists. He called on the DJ. Which other artists has come stop. about to say, yeah. what have they done? Are they united? We also have to see what they are doing by themselves. If you retail we see why, say make we Cameroonians and consume only Cameroonian products. I'm not gonna see how a um uh artists will be having a party and they are playing Nigerian songs and dancing to it by themselves, and they expect us Cameroonians to uh, uh, consume their own products. They have to show by example, like. Somebody like, uh, let me say, we always quote Stanley, you know, of course, he's the face of Cameroonian music. He has shown by every means that he, he has understood the game and he's trying to put himself out there. When Stanley, you know, releases a song, Cameroonians will always say it's a work song. This one, everybody has something to say because they think he's, at that point, he's a big guy up there and they expect something supernatural from him. You hear people criticizing, but one week later, my sisters, my brothers, Everybody is singing Stanley Eno's song. Why? Because of the way he puts it out there. Uh -huh. so like the marketing got, somebody was a, the marketing uh, a uh, good a marketing was and how to strategy. take it from one position to the other. Thank you, you so will much. You will sing a song which you think he doesn't have meaning. It's a work song. People are criticizing. He will go out there, play the same song, sing, form a, form a dance with it, and give it back to the people. And the people start enjoying it. Mm -hmm. so okay. what are we saying how do we the problem is already there we have identified it now is i'm how on the point we... of how do we come out of this yes. from the stage of manufacturing like a police say we're in the factory stage how do we come out from the factory stage the the, the, the primary stage tertiary and everything how do we do that from one stage to the other to the other how do we do that that is my own question in my head now and please let the other say something so and see how go ahead. Thank you so much, In fact, take one man on my behalf, the man. You don't touch some very, very, very important point of the day, we, you know. Is it you possible have really... that nobody is hearing? Can, Can you guys hearing? hear me? Yes, I'm hearing. We are hearing. I can't hear we anything hearing in particular. You, you cannot hear I'm me? I'm hearing you. I can't hear you, Gwen. Yeah, I'm hearing I you. It's a problem on my side. Oh, I'm I don't know why. You. I'm hearing you, Papa. Ko Elonge, can you all hear Papa me? Talapu, Let's hear from Ko Elonge. Let's hear from Epule Jeffrey on this topic. You Papa guys should Talapu, be very I'm brief. You. you guys should be very brief. Let's go to the next topic because we need to talk about solutions, concrete solutions. 
and the way forward. How do we proceed to make these solutions really solve the issue that we have at hand today? Cameroon, lose, Cameroon is losing its cultural identity to the foreign influx of music, entertainment, and all of that. Our role, each of us on this panel is, you know, it's, it's a personality in their domain, each of us. And that was the reason why I brought all of us together so we can talk and we have all these amazing people commenting who are very knowledgeable about what's going on. Let's hear from Ko Elonke and from Epule Jeffrey and of course, Siwa International. Okay. Um, I, I think we've gone around in circles. I'm we have. I'm losing my, my, my trend of thought because... Everybody uh, has had, focused, you know, different... Yeah, we are not focused on anything particular, like... Um, Yes. A little bit too, yes, too myself too. Um, I'm off first. Um, but I should, I should first of all start by um, pushing back on something. Uh, CYC, when, when you say there is no distribution problem um, and that you, you are undercutting your own argument, um, because we have already said, and you have diagnosed rightly, that dumping is a problem, that the Nigerians have dumped their own products in our market. And therefore, the, we are strangled in the way we can even distribute within our own, our own market. So distribution is, is a problem. I would like to also say that um, there, is, there, is, there is no sense of cultural consciousness, really. Uh, and Chichi, when I was talking about, about, um, about the fact that the DJ was prioritizing Nigerian music back to back, and that when the, the Cameroon music came back, people said it wasn't just an indictment of the Cameroonian sound. It was also about the fact that people have been so programmed that they think they, 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 they've lost taste of anything Cameroonian. You see? So they, they, they need to be a kind of rewiring, and which is why. People realize, it, you see, though this seems like legislation, it's also a form of psychology, the idea of programming, that the more you listen to something, the more you start falling in love with that thing. And so exactly. countries like Brazil, yes, countries like Brazil came up with a 90% quota. And they, hmm. for the 10%, yeah, for, for the 10%, what they did was you even had to pay a tax, a tax on the 10%. I gave the other day the example of the South African Broadcasting Corporation. Yes. Who trying to fight the influence of 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 um, um, American music like R and B hip hop in, in 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 South Africa decided to um, come up with a ninety percent quota policy. It's the same kind of scenario because the argument was that you know uh, American music was of better quality than than the South African music. But this is what happened: the more they started playing uh, uh, um, the South African music. It meant two things. The first was that um, the local artists and producers knew that they had more airspace for their products. That in itself translated in greater production to fill the space that was available. The second was that it raised the profile of the local artists within the South African music industry. And so the brand uh, uh, versions of South African music or genres like uh, Zosa and all of this became very prominent. I say that there has been, the fact that we are having this discussion means that there has been some kind of reawakening within yes. us for the need of that we exactly. have to prioritize our music. And I see that, uh, I see the work that our artists are putting in. I do agree with Chichi that we can, we can create... Um, kind of um, a vibe that has to counter Afrobeat, which is now identical only to Niger mainly to Nigeria. But that cannot, um, that should not restrict the variety of sounds that artists in Cameroon can try. What we need is more play because the, the laws that were put in place valorized all the sounds that South Africa had, that Brazil had. It wasn't limited. It's true that we need a yeah. sound that would counter Afrobeat. So to me, that's, that's, to me, that's the thing. And I think that cultural consciousness is a very important thing. I don't think Cameroonians have that sense of cultural consciousness. And so it has to impose by regulation. Thank you so much, Ko Elonge. I really love the points that you have raised here. Let's hear from Ipule Jeffrey 
and then from CY International. They pull it, Jeffrey. I think his network is still troubling. Um, CY take over. Yes, very briefly, uh, thank you very, very briefly, much. please. And then we have to move yes, to solutions. Yes, thank you Concrete very much. Um, yeah, actually, we have been going round and round. You see, this thing is very simple. It is very, very simple. Our people, our people have been programmed for quite a very, very long time. Do you understand? Our people are already addicted with mm. Nigerian music. I will repeat it from now to tomorrow. We don't even need vibes. We don't need vibes. All those things, distribution, or artists need to go back to the studio, play more music. To me, we don't need those things. Listen, the more we start consume our own, people will be talented. People will so, be uplifted. In the spirit, hold on, in spirit, finance, and everything will boom. People with music will share. So you if you understand? don't like... We rice and one. granola soup. You will soft go chopper. Listen, go chopper. <laughs> fire by force. M right? M M M M M Gwen. Gwen, this is the true solution. Every country right. did the same. Yes. Ghana did the same. Kenya did the same. Every country did the same. Close the incoming of foreign culture that got to do with all the close or reduce. We'll come everything. to that later and because we need concrete solutions to this. Yes, CY. Yes. So to me, yes. So what I am saying right now is that, number one, like if you ban, because number one people who are doing this distribution <clears throat> of foreign culture is the media people. Those cable lines, all those people, all those people, they are the one. Number one, listen, you see, when I want to talk these things, it comes with a lot of emotions because you people don't understand. I don't know how you feel the same. Just, Do you know just find that the right way to say it, see why? Because a lot of times people misunderstand your point because... Maybe listen, of how you're listen. saying it. See, some people will say, oh, no, no call Nigeria. No, no. Listen, the truth is bitter and it should be spoken. Nigeria. <laughs> we don't have problem with Arabi. <laughs> we don't have problem with Congolese. So if you care, call me any name. That's your problem. Nigerian music, even right to the church. All those churches, you see those are small, small Sunday schools. All what they teach our children is Nigeria music, Nigeria country song. Nigeria chineke muzuoko. You see children, chineke, chineke, chineke is not our language. It's not our language, for God's sake. Our children are forgotten our language. They forget them every day. The other day, my neighbor slapped me, picking very badly because of my education. A child came back home and was singing Nigerian music. Whereas we have 280 tribes, for God's sake. All so right. Thank you, CY. We've we heard that. We don't, need, when, we don't need distribution. We don't need anything like that. All we need is to close the incoming of foreign uh, 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 music, everything. And we have to start with the people, uh, cable lines, all those people closing road, roadside DJs, and all those things. That's the only way we can get back to our culture. All right, let's hear from Epule Jeffrey. Thank you so much, CY International. Epule Jeffrey, we're, we are happy to have you back. Um, that network, eh? Then I say all village people, they don't woke up, but we are bigger than that. So take over. Um, yeah. What do you have to say before we get into concrete solutions? Because yeah, that's well, actually where we're heading to. Yeah. yeah um, you know, the network is one of the challenges we face in the industry. Yes, thank you, my brother. That's true. <laughs> we are it's facing a, a real-life network problem. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Who uh, will laugh when that's I don't know. I don't know. For, for a couple of days now, MTN, MTN, MTN has been very, MTN has been very disrespectful on a project. Well, on a project had, he had power failure a few minutes K &K. before we started. So, it yeah. It's symbolic of the way they... Yeah, they they have been disrespectful to their clientele without any a form of apology. It is it is typical of the way the corporate society has been handling entertainment in Cameroon. There is this certain aloofness. I want to delve into the solution, man. Yes, it is important. Thank you. Let's get into because that. Because we're just going round and round. It's just about us complaining. It's and important complaining. for everybody's opinion to be heard, and then the now we can to come to concrete solutions. Yes. Very important because if we don't have this talk, we we we're not gonna read ourselves of all the emotion, music, entertainment, acting, 
every work of art is a very spiritual endeavor. It is highly spiritual. It brings out it brings out raw emotions. So there are a lot of things that come into play when we talk about work of art. But the Cameroonian context, the Cameroonian context has is complicated, but it has very simple solution. Mm-hmm. Very simple solution. One, we need proper legislature. Proper okay. legislature. Because you will all agree that what Cameroonians need right now for their entertainment, be it music, be it film, be it fashion, is platform. We have to get to the parliament to ratify whatever document that legalizes Cameroonian airplane wherever, whenever. To a certain, if we do not have this legalization or a legislature that puts Cameroonian content in a way where anybody who goes or disrespects this could be held liable, all of us will just be going around in circles. We have to get yeah. legislature done. Number two, we have to make a commitment on the kind of messaging we have for our entertainment. The messaging is very important. If we do not rally around Cameroonian content and sing it loud, there is no way nobody is going to be prouder for a Cameroon. Cameroonian <clears throat> never shouts Jovi louder than he will shout for MI. Because whether you like it or not, it is there. That's why our countries are flagged. We have to be able to be proud of our flag. We have a lot of division in Cameroon. And honestly, culture might be the savior if we put in the right messaging into our cultural context. How? We have to get Cameroonians to love Cameroonian music, love Cameroonian film, love Cameroonian fashion, love Cameroonian cuisine. Our bloggers, our influencers must rally themselves. The time is not tomorrow. The time is now to rally ourselves right to now. love Cameroon. When we start doing the right messaging around Cameroon, quality, which is the third issue, quality will take its form. We need labels to invest better. We need professional marketing. We don't want enthusiastic people who just love music, who just love film. There should be a market. There should be a market around music. There should be a market around film. There should be a design. There should be a branding. There should be a process. All those things will come, Don't out. All those come out. Come out. But who are this? All those ones will come after. Elonge, you say all those ones will come after. Let's after. hear from. Oh. Okay. It's not me talking. It's not. It's are you not done, me. It's Chichi, probably. It's not are me. you done? I it's want you me. to <laughs> learn on your solutions, and then we'll hear from Chichi because we've not heard Chichi's voice in a in a while. We are concluding already, so let's. I think Epule Jeffries' network has come back again with trouble, but you know that was a very good point. Um, Epule Jeffries, Cameroon <clears throat> indeed has a network problem. You see, we can't have a simple live broadcast. Either it's a power failure, either it's network or something. So there are so many problems that are going so, on. That's not our focus today. Our focus is how to help this entertainment industry to be more recognized within and without our country, Cameroon. So let's hear from Chichi. What concrete solutions do you propose? All right. Um, I'm sorry if a lot of the things I say come from a very corporate point of view, you know. Um, see why you cannot say they should that all of those ones will come after. You cannot, you cannot shut down and then we stand in the middle of nowhere and we don't know what to do. We don't have a distribution platform. We don't, we don't have a marketing project. We should be able to prepare all of that so that if we shut down here, we know, okay, this is what is going to happen. Um, I just read in the, in, the, in, the, in the comment section, and Vicky is asking, Chichi, what have you done? You know, or what are you doing? It's a strange, it's, um, I don't know what I should say. It's a strange question, you know, coming, coming from you, because... Um, if you know, you know. If you don't know, um, I'm going to remind you of a few. And 
for the past four years, I put up the most watched music program on CRTV called Top Music, which is 100% Cameroon music and, and Cameroon urban music. And when the program started, the director of programs told me, Chiche, you need to play some other kind of music from other countries and all whatnot. I told him, if you want all of that, it should be in another program and not this program. And top music became one of the most watched, even till today. Sarah TV Sports and Entertainment came, I created another Boulevard de Heat, which was still 100% Cameroonian, and especially urban music. And people through that program could see and would know the latest music that was being released because I was putting it back to back and top music was played at least five times a day on CRTV, you know? And I don't need to talk about the events I organized. I'm one of the few event organizers in Cameroon who has done seven days, seven concerts in Marwa, May 2018. And there it was 100% Cameroonian artist. Salatia, was it, was it bankable? Was it was it bankable? Sorry to just slip that into the, the mix because there has been a talk about the fact that Cameroonian artists are not bankable enough. A lot of entertainers, a lot of event promoters have argued that they've had events where they brought just Cameroonian artists and they did not make the quota for their money. So um, just chip in on that. That's not actually what we're talking about. But because you raised the point, I wanted you know, when, you to just add they bankable. Everything, the problem. The problem which people have is that they are not professionals. They, they dare into, into ventures that they don't know or they don't understand. My events that I have done have been all bankable. If you get to my wall, if, uh, Facebook, you will see, go to 2018, you will see. I did every day I had at least 3,000 people. And all of the artists were paid, they were, they were happy, and I was good and I had a success. Same okay. like in 2018 in May, I did a concert with Malox, Elo, and we filled Palais de Sport, 6,500 people. It was bankable. And I know it that uh, it's paid. not just been so, music. And um, thank you, Delhi, for, for, for pointing that. Um, even movies, movie premieres and all whatnot, um, a lot Gwen, of times... Gwen, yes. my, movie, my movie premieres have been bankable. I've done okay. three, three movie premieres. I've, I did a man for the weekend, 20... 17 in Douala and Yaoundé, it was bankable. I just did a man, uh, broken, it was bankable. So, I think you that, understand? um, because so, a lot of other event organizers are not meeting the same success that you have, do you think that there's a possibility of working with other people? And that's a solution, uh, it's a proposal. Of course, I know that people not everybody works together, right? But what can be done concretely to fix this problem and make sure that like entertainment said, is back? Good, forward? like you like you said, it is team spirit. For me to it is teamwork. For me to have the success I have, it is not an individual task. You understand? It's a network. It's a chain reaction. And which you, when you when you initiate it here, it, you know it gets to this other place and to this one and to this other place. You understand? So it is a chain. It's a chain reaction and. Like um, APA was saying, we need to come together. We need to forget about beef. When it's one thing that is happening, let's come together and we support it and we make it work. And for me, part of the solutions is, like I said, I go a lot, a lot corporate. Our government should work with, or should bring out policies which this co these uh, multinational companies can adopt to. For instance, their CSR. You know, they should be able to use our, our brands. They should be use our actors. They should use our, our, our artists, you know, to sell their products. We shouldn't sit here and pass our wrong point. You see, it's, it's, it's Kofi Olomi, the is opening his hands. <laughs> In so what you're proposing is you that understand? there should be a collective action, collective, be collective work. That comes with patriotism. You understand? Right. Which, it comes with patriotism. And then... Other, other than that, you know, before, before that, we should be, we should be, um, there's a part where we need to get aggressive. Something happened in Nigeria, which changed the face of Nigeria entertainment. And it was the fact that Idris went and attacked 50 Cent on stage in Nigeria. Complain of how 50 Cent comes and takes and collects all the money. Uh, the American artists come and collect the money in Nigeria and go with it, while the Nigerian artists remain poor. 
it should be applicable in Cameroon. Point I, note I, I that much... we have to we have to take others like one last point, and then we have to take um let's take a Pierre, and then we we'll take we already heard I'm from Kole Jeffrey. We need okay. to hear from Ko Elega from before, before all right. One 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 last thing I'll talk is about the artist. Build the right uh, build the right team around you to brand you to market you. You know how do they that. find that team though? It has become so right. difficult. Like an artist can have all the good music. They don't have it. Is there a a particular way, a format, or a you know an entity, a body that it these is, artists it, it can go simple. to? For instance, how would for they instance, find this team? For instance, for instance, you want to sign a contract. You just go every anything they give you. And those tell you you don't you don't get somebody who can interpret you don't get a lawyer who can interpret your contract to you you get stuck and the next thing this this artist is fighting with this with this record label because of a contract or breach in contract it's that one because, a, that one a discussion for another day because seriously yeah the that, artists, that's part of the solution that's part of the thing managers. how many artists have lawyers anyway where would they take money to pay a like lawyer that. chichi okay let's hear from um <laughs> Let's hear from APA. Did APA already give his solutions here? No, Koe, no, yet, did you give no, your yet. solutions? No, yet. I have not said something I want to. Yes, yeah, so let's hear from you guys. Okay. Um, if, if you were a debater that are giving marks, I would say uh, I would have been beaten right now because Chichi has said almost everything that is supposed that is gave a solution. Because first, what are we fighting for? Um, who are we fighting for? Yes. Now, like I said, unity is the is the main thing. We're only talking about Nigeria did this, they stopped music. What happened before they did it? Who are those who went out there before this thing happened? Yes. The artists themselves, they need to come together as one. They need to unite. Those who have made that name, that have that say already in the industry, I will quote people like uh, um, Stanley, uh, Jovi, Salatel, and the rest of them that have that are out there. They need to come together, hmm. go to the administration. That comes together, go strong, eh? It, 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 it's it's difficult. It's the same thing we are fighting for. It's difficult, but it's doable. It can be done. They need to come together. So it means that they need mediators. Who is who is volunteering to be a mediator? Because as it, from what I know, a lot of those artists don't even see eye to eye. Elonga and Chichi, you bear with me that this thing when it happened in Nigeria, a few from from Two Face, I think Two Face and few other artists are the ones who took it to the streets before the government intervened. Now, if the government has to do something, somebody has to provoke the government. Somebody has to provoke. The, 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 My brother, the, 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 all the street not be the same kind of street, though. Cameroon street not be Nigeria street. I beg. <laughs> listen, uh, listen, yeah, some, listen. Can, yeah, I, can I continue? So what I was, what I'm saying yes, is continue. that, they, yes, what I'm saying is that they should come together. If they come together and stand as one, all the entertainment, the the, the entertainers. All of them, be it film, be it uh, music, uh, music, comedy, or whatsoever, they should come as one. Now, going back to the same artist, how how does an artist sell or brand he or uh, herself? How do you do that? For, we are looking for solution, no, bro. Or would you go on for a, a brand? Deal? Yeah, that, that's what. Yeah, I'm, I'm with you. See why I'm with you. What I'm saying is, artists, for you for be able to get supporter, make people, because what you return and say, we want make Cameroonians, the cons want Cameroonians to consume our work. So we need to let them, we need to invite them, we need to provoke them to, to consume our work. How? We need to do, we need, we need to get to those, cons uh, to, to those consumers. How do we do it? Now, we have artists who have uh, record labels and so on and so forth. These record labels need to put out, these record labels need to put out distribution plan budget, how to market their artists. They need to 
we are talking about uh, when you have you have interrupted a couple of times that how do they get money to do this? How do they get money to do that? A record label should be able to secure a record label should be able to secure um, let, not jobs shows, organize shows, get get connected to uh, uh, big bars, clubs, and so on. Organize shows for their artists so that they can get there and get money to promote themselves to do more for themselves. They also need this. If, if only the record never they know. Listen, bro. Oh God. See, I don't know what you know what you're talk then, about this. See why everybody has the time to talk. You will talk, you that these are my own points. So when your time and everybody's reaches, opinion yeah, counts. Yeah. Yes. When your time reaches, you have to talk. But this is my these are my own points. So that um, let me say, for example. If you if you're selling yourself out, you have to make it. You have to make it like sound big. You have to make it sound big. Look at for, let's say for example, an artist has been been invited abroad, and you have you have DJs who are here who are in Cameroon, who have been playing your songs, who produce your songs. You have dancers. Now you're going abroad for a show. You don't think of taking even one DJ, taking even one. Now, when you do this, these people are also known, and these DJs will get known. And when they get known, they are the ones who are playing your songs. It's like, uh, it's like um, Deathman, DJ Deathman. He has a platform where he is doing purely uh, purely Cameroon music. But if he does this and put sends it to these same artists, the artists they don't share. How do you promote? How do you want people to consume your song when you don't let the people to know what you are all about? The channels promoting your songs, you don't even promote them. That's a good point. Yeah. So uh, CY has been hungry to talk. He CY, has been go ahead right now. Yes, right go today. ahead, CY. I think CY should say something. Thank you so much, Etienne. <laughs> I just really love every point that each of you has um, made here is very valid. See. see. Um, thank you once more. You see, this is my problem with Cameroonian entertainers, mostly the Anglophone Cameroon entertainers. You understand? Um, I don't talk about the Francophone because I don't really talk close to them, even though I have some few friends there. Listen, let me tell you, people. This is the, this is the hypocrisy. And when I say 90% of Cameroonian entertainers are suffering from inferiority complex. I will always repeat that. You see, like what uh, Chichi have just said. Chichi said, what changed Nigeria entertainment industry is because which artists climb on the stage and attack 50 Cent, they are coming to collect their money and they are going away. Now, what is happening with you guys that when CY stood by all of you people, Nigerians are condemning me, Cameroonians are condemning me, and you big names, you stood quiet. You are we not yet talking Nobody about the anything. issue? See why international nobody is quiet. See why you are here talking? Listen, we are here listen, talking about the something. issue. No, listen. Let me tell you guys something. Let me tell you something. If not of this panel, if not of this pan, uh, this panel, I believe I am the one who caused this panel, which is happening right now. Let me tell you something. The truth is bitter. It should be spoken. It should be spoken. Ninety percent of our entertainers, both Master, the let's people, talk, let's both talk the now. Let's talk about facts. Talk about facts. We have, about we facts. have ten minutes. I'm talking why. facts. I'm talking solutions. Facts. What are your that, solutions? Listen, yes, the thing is that they are still thinking that their treasure, their breakthrough, will still come from abroad. Listen, it is just one way. And the only way is that we stop the incoming. When we stop the incoming of foreign, both movie or what kind of domain of culture, listen, we will people, people, I can tell you that there are so many people who have created channel to distribute music and movie, but it is not working because why? Our people have not loved our own. There are people who have created so many things. They, they, they send me the link. Do you, you want to force them? Do you want to force them? Why you cannot? You cannot say you want to stop everything. That's just wrong. That's just bro, wrong. You can't say stop. Hold on, hold on. Everything. Hold on, I'm coming. No, listen, on, no, it doesn't work like that. No, no, no. Let me know. It will be erroneous for learn. us to know. It's your opinion, but sometimes you don't say. Listen, no, it's just wrong. It's can I tell you something? Can I tell you something? Just wrong. Can I tell you something? See why? Yeah. Yes. 
when I want to give now a small example. When children are playing bad play, when you advise them to leave that place, they don't listen. You shout at them, they don't listen. The next time you will not spare your rod. Let me tell you, people. Okay, see why you have our one culture minute. Is suffering. The level our culture is suffering. If we don't take a violence change, you and me will suffer in the future. All these things okay. you are saying, we need branding, we need this, we need to branding, marketing, marketing. I am telling you the level, it will never work. We just need to stop foreign... Uh, 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 are, like it, we still like need, need to keep the relationships with our Maybe neighbors. Like, we that need that for business. Like when it or not, that forward, forward. Forward. When the See, when that's your point of view, you are trying to force it. See, why, see why I like it or not. Let's, let's hear from Ko Elonge. Let's hear from Ko Elonge. See why you have... You have 30 seconds to wrap up yes. and then we'll hear from Listen. Kuelonge. Listen, today, I want to still say it. Chichi just said, because somebody attacked 50 Cent and said that you are coming to carry our money and go. And from there, everybody, wow, wow, wow. And today, you can, I can bet you 90% Nigeria culture and everything. My brother, you cannot starve your children to death because you want to maintain good relationship with your culture. Take what is yours. And the only way we can take what is ours is to put 80% of Cameroon content and 20% of foreign content. Okay, so which means that you're That's not saying they should stop now you're, now, now, you're, now, you're, now, you're, now you're talking. Now you're talking. Now you're so talking. Quite you longer. Quite longer is still here. Makes a lot of sense. I, I think we lost quite longer there. I don't know if the lights went off at some point. Um, so, guys, it's been a very heated discussion. As we already saw from the caption of the program, five great minds, different opinions, one topic. You've heard it. Everybody has. I like to. I like to. I like to. I like to. I like to interject somewhere, please. So yes, go ahead, I, I Ipule, Jeffrey, go, ahead. go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Just to just to just to just to put into perspective a lot of things he is saying. Nobody is pushing for the complete ban. Of foreign music, it is it is totally wrong. It is erroneous, and it is a moral moral disrespect to the freedom of choice. We have you have to let people listen to what they want. But then yes. this is what we have to do. Regulate. There should be a level of control, and there is no con there is no control if we do not make it formal and legal. We should start with legislature. When you legislate, you put in means to regulate and control. That works. If we agree on an eighty twenty, perfect. How do we institute that? Is it on TV channels? Is it online or wherever we have to listen on to music? On all platforms or watch music? and everywhere. That is where legis on all so legislature comes in. Because CY is not gonna go house to house, bar to bar, club to yeah. club to listen to who plays or whatever. Sassem in France does that. They say they say an institution that counts playtime, and that's how artists make their money. Because there is a certain form of legislature and there are institutions to all righty. Very good Back. point. Such and so, no matter how. Proper, very good. Proper point. legislature to move on. It will ensure quality. It will make our music. It will make our music competitive internationally. It is not about forcing our music on people. 80 20 percent on platforms will make it work because automatically we will get the right kind of. songs and the right kind of people to invest from the start kids it's not about forcing people to watch or to do what you know 80 20 percent is perfect how do we get there that should be the question we should rally yes. ourselves come out get up for an 80 20 percent thing go to the parliament do it legally come up for our young parliamentarians and those we voted into the parliament to give us some legislation that protects cameroonian content voila and make sure that yeah, it is implemented cameroonian well. content Jeffrey, how do we do that when some of you guys are sleeping? If not of this platform See why right people now, are not sleeping. People, people are not sleeping. People are not see sleeping. People, we are, I, I people are not sleeping. People see why? Been, uh, I, people saw are comment, sleeping. I saw a comment here in the we comment are, section where, agree, where somebody talked about the fact that people have abandoned TZ and Chad because he mentioned the fact that everybody needs to, to proclaim themselves as a king in their domain. He got a lot of backlash as well because people said he's comparing himself to superstars and all oh, not. He's this, he's that. So there's this issue where people want to be objective 
uh, and, and stand for what they believe in, but then they meet in backlash at the end of the day. So um, in conclusion, um, Chi Chi, guys, let's do this in 30 seconds each. Way forward, way forward, way forward. How can um, this be implemented? Uh, I've already talked about a lot of, I've already talked, uh, I've already made a lot of points. And have. I've even said, I've said the things I've been doing at my level as an individual, <laughs> and which I've been doing for the past like 15 years, you know. And what I'm saying is, if something is up, was applicable in 2006 through a particular means, it doesn't mean that you must use that same means in 2021. We, we, we know the country which we are in. There are a lot of things that we have to do it in context. Uh -huh. And so what happened with NSAS in Nigeria is not the same thing that can happen with N Forum Music in Cameroon and we go on the streets and we find that 80%. You wouldn't stop, you wouldn't take an individual's phone and cut off YouTube from that person's phone, uh -huh. from the person listening to what the person wants. Like Jeff said, there's going to be a legislation. So let us, what we do, rather, as influencers is to be able to put up a petition and that petition can be formal or informal with, ra with rational uh, uh, acting or with rational acts and that will be like a, 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 a bell that is going to ring in the ears and we keep mounting pressure and something is going to be done. I promise Thank you, you so as we are talking teaching. about this, it is being looked into as we're talking to it because it's not been a topic of discussion just today. Thank you so much, Bole Kane, for tuning in. She has been fighting toe and nail to promote the Cameroonian culture and entertainment um, with her channel, of course, The Hot Gem, for so many years now. And I just want to use this opportunity now to say kudos to all those who have been doing their best any way you've been doing, um, whether it's the programs that you present, whether it's the blogs, whatever stories that you write, thank you. Let's keep doing it and let's do even more. 30 seconds, um, appear. And then CY, and then of course, Ipule Jeffrey will conclude and we will call it bye for today. Okay. Thank you very much. Um... What I want to say is that um, we've we've come to a point where we are talking about it. It's a nation something. It means something is about to happen. A change yeah. is about to happen. It will come. It might not come today, but as long as we talk about it, it will come. And you do as uh, Chi Chi said, taking it legally, like following up legally. I believe that something will be done about it. And to all the artists, to all those who are in the entertainment industry, please, my only advice is try to get to know your fans. They are the consumers at the end of the day. Yes, good point. Go, go to interaction with them. I'll take an example of uh, my fiance's uh, um, platform. Yes. There is no day that passes by that she doesn't post an interactive something. The yes. people get to love her because of the way she does it. She comes to the media, talk to her fans, get them talking with other topics, get them talking related topics. An artist platform, somebody should not visit an artist platform and go there and see just shared link of to, uh, today. And then the next week, another link came in. And so, so they should create something to engage that, people in a discussion. Exactly. Good point. To and shout out to Mama Talaku. You're doing wonders. You're doing amazing. Shout out yes. to you. Shout out to Delhi Singer. Shout out to Roy Mama. I saw her. You all are amazing. You all are amazing. Ladies, we should come together and do something. Exactly. So please, please. And it, we, 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 what I'm talking about, uh, an example of what I'm talking about is uh, recently, you see when and an artist like Kosi, what happened? He wanted to make, he wanted to do something like a meet and greet with his fans. But what did he do? He went live, created questions, made them answer the question, then just came out with a list of hundred people and said, "Okay, you people won a prize. Come wow. at this place, so let's meet and greet." Now he knew that if he put this thing online, and people might come, and others may not come, may not uh, come. 
But what he he ensured that to, to ensure himself to have fans around, he created something like that. They made interactions online on a live video. He brought names forth, and they had good they had good time. If you see even the the greet and meet something that they, they they had, you realize that he even told them a life story on how he got to where he is. That's how you get to know your, your 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 artists. That's how you get to you know relate with your fans. So I believe that the artist interaction with their fans is also very 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 necessary to bring them closer. Thank you very much. Thank you so much, Papa Talaku. If if in fact if I begin to be call over here for pass and through the phone, give you. In fact, you have talked well. You have talked well. So um, I think CY International is still there. We've lost Kuwait longer for some reason. Um, see why international. Let's wrap okay. up with you. You get you get thirty seconds. Yes. Yes. Um. Listen, my 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 query. Na say wait. Na say social media over get power. Where if it bring change. My problem na say if you go people like Zelatan in Ghana, they be fight for their culture using social media. DJ Arafat. So many of them. My problem now is that. How many of you people who are talking right here have stood for what we are fighting for? 80% and 20%. How many people watch, read your posts? What is so difficult for you people to do even a video? Because if video, they, they go viral, so it go enter the government and they go see and say, some serious thing this happen and that decision will come out. But when some of you just she don't fall on her hands, on the only way, oh, that one, they recush, oh, Pancho, oh, you be this, oh, you be that. Una only she don't wanna feel go succeed how some of us, some person like me, so I never be supposed to fight this thing because trust me, guys. Trust me, guys. I have worked and I'm very fine, but I'm doing these things for love. And when you guys don't support, you only take when there is a, 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 a debate like this, you come online. It doesn't make sense. Even two Baba them for Nigeria, they be fight this thing, they be use the necessary weapons where we be needed, and our greatest weapon for now now social media. Please, if you believe. And you want and you like this 80% Cameroon content and 20% foreign content, please open your voice. Talk. Talk. That's talk what we are doing here, do CY like International. Do something. We will all work to pass, together to make sure there, that this is implemented. Don't only sit, don't only sit there and be doing write-ups. You do write up that the next day you have some 10 comments and 20 comments. You have not done anything. CY International. Do a video that people will share on WhatsApp groups, on family groups. And the message will go out there. And trust me, if the government has to intervene, they will intervene. Don't just sit and fold your hands. And when they cost on one man, oh, when I just did it, when I look up. Because I don't carry the, the head now. One man fight Nigeria. So please, <laughs> you are, you are, you are you international. Are I'm angry. I'm angry because when we are fighting this thing, some of you celebrities, you always sit and you fold your hands like this. You are watching so that when they don't fight, it they fine. When I start enjoy. When I only want to give a BB story, oh, technicality, oh, no amount of fans that artists they go gather for meet up, then go bring change. The simple change is that all of us put our voice out there so that if we get to the government and they will sign that bill of 80% Cameroon content and 20% foreign content. And trust me, we'll go get network, we'll go get everything we'll need done for this entertainment industry. That is me for tonight. Gwen, your mic is muted. Wow, I'm so sorry about that, guys. I think, so I, think I want to conclude. Yeah, I want to conclude. Um, I'm going to take two or three comments just from the comment section because it's a tradition on Spotlight with Gwendy to do that. And I'll take this from a celebrated um, blogger and media personality, Bole Kane. She says, many A-list or upcoming artists don't even acknowledge when some of our 237 media outlets or blogs promote or showcase them or their work. But they are the first to share foreign blogs who post about them. And then they cry that we don't showcase their work and only one foreign artist. It's a two-way street. Very, very good point. We will not argue about that today because we are running out of time. There was a comment here by Delhi Singer, which was very pertinent. And I think that she talked about the fact that no matter how much we talk, no matter how many solutions we propose, 
if we don't have a cultural identity, if we don't have something to sell, it would not still work. I want to say thank you, guys. Thank you to all of you for taking out time out of your busy schedules to make this discussion heard, to make your voices heard. Um, I don't know. I just I can't say um, more than that. I'm so grateful. Thank you, guys. All right. Thank you very much. And I want to thank all those who were watching. Guys, share the video. We need more discussions like this. I want to propose a, a meeting with media men and women. All those media men and women and promoters, let's have a discussion. Let me know if that's something that sounds good to you guys. We need to continue discussions like this every single day until the solutions come out. All right? So I'm going to say thank you, guys, and I want to wish you a wonderful rest of your day. Let's keep fighting for Cameroon. We are not saying that we are banning foreign content because that would not be a good way out. Totally out of question. But reducing the influx, according to me, is a good way to start. Yes, let's go that route. All right, guys. I want to wish you a if wonderful the, rest of your day. If the worst, if the worst come to the worst, we'll go ban no. If the worst come to the worst, we we'll go ban. <laughs> if you the are, worst come to the worst, we'll ban. God get power. God never now God, God get power. If you God get power, if you get power, if you get power, if you get power, now God get power, and if you get power, my brother, my brother, all the rest country, they be banned. Nigeria be banned before they never play the day today. Why it be so difficult for one of pronounce them? Banning. <laughs> I don't think that we'll get to that point because it's also children. important to maintain relationships. To get because I want to maintain relationship with you, my friend. No 80, way. 20, 80, 20, 80, and so 20. we are ending, we are ending and concluding the program today <laughs> on the fact that we should have an 80 20. Papa, so 80 cool. 80 yeah, cafe day, yeah, cafe day. Cameroonian and 20% yeah, 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 yeah. of other content. Chichi, All right, yeah, guys, day, take care of yourselves, and we'll see you next time with the same pleasure. God bless you. Remember, you can be the change that you seek. Have a wonderful day, guys. God bless you. Bye-bye.